Welcome back for the much anticipated part two of the Ruger SFAR here at the Hyde. Now, this video has definitely been one of my most popular, and rightfully so. It's a very interesting rifle, but one of the big uh, issues that a lot of viewers had was with the accuracy or precision, or lack thereof, of the rifle. Now, for me, as I mentioned in the philosophy portion, if you want to call it that for the original review, about two MOA, two and a half, Honestly, that's all I'm looking for out of this rifle. Fact of the matter is, this for me is a battle rifle, if you will. Something, you know, 16 inch carbine and a totable weight. Most of your AR-10 platform rifles, 10, 11, 12 plus pounds. So this right here really comes in at a very attractive weight to be able to tote around in the woods, which is what this rifle is touted for. It's not a precision gun. That's one thing that we have to keep into consideration if you're talking about this rifle. It's not a precision rig. If I want to go shoot dime-sized groups at 110 yards, it's, I'm not grabbing this rifle out of my safe. It's going to be one of my bolt guns. Now, with that said, it still needs to be able to make hits on targets at distance. So that's kind of what we're looking at today. I've had a lot of you guys mention trying some uh, higher grain weight ammunition and see if that helps with the uh, the group sizes at 110 so that's what we're going to do today i found some 180 grain power shock federal another box 168 grain sierra match king and i found some 175 grain sierra match king so we will definitely find out if that helps or not i've shot a few rounds of this 180 to get it on paper for us now as we're setting now filming this before shooting these four or three groups this rifle has right at around 240 rounds shot through it and I have had no malfunctions. That is the straight up truth. There has been no failures to feed, no failures to eject, nothing. It has chucked everything that I've shot through it. Now most of those 240 some odd rounds have been just Winchester M80 ball that you get at like Walmart for 22 bucks a box. That's mostly what I have shot through this and it is done fine. I shot a few of these 180 grain federal blue boxes a little bit ago to get it on paper and it shucked those just fine as well. But I want to take a shoot one group, five shots each, each of these loads at 110 yards. I will let the barrel cool in between as our standard protocol here at the hide and we'll just see what it does. And then we'll get some final thoughts on this rig, guys. I do have the Riton 7 Conker back out serving duty for group shooting. So stand by you guys can follow along in the shock cam so these are the 180 grain power shocks so this is a jacketed soft point So maybe there's a little bit of validity to the heavier grain loads. Okay. So again, that was the Blue Box Federal. Um, pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. That is a vast difference from our original target shot. So I'm going to let the barrel cool for a few minutes. We'll get the magazine loaded up with five rounds of this 168 grain Sierra Match King from Federal Premium and see how they do. All right, five more rounds loaded up. 168 grain Sierra Match King, gold medal match. Stand by and let's see how they do.
All right, I think one of those shots might have gotten away from me. I felt that, I think it was the second shot. I think I gave the trigger the old Yankee there and pulled it off the paper actually. So you guys will be able to see that hopefully within the shot cam, but those four shots definitely don't look too bad. But uh, we'll let this barrel cool a couple more minutes and then we'll try our 175 grain gold medal match. Okay, five rounds of the 175 grain SMKs from Federal Premium. I had a Savage Model 10 in 308 back in the day that would eat this stuff up. I don't think I have ever shot it in a gas gun though, the 175 grain stuff. So let's try five of these at 110, see what happens. Oh man, I think I pulled that first shot. Dang it. All right, so let me run down. I'm gonna grab that target. I'm also gonna go get our original target so that way we have something kind of as a reference point, starting point for the rifle. Now, after those 15 rounds, so we're right at about two, what, about 255-ish, so a little under 260 rounds. And as you see here, I mean, it chucks them just fine. So let me run down and grab those targets and we'll get some final thoughts on this one. All right, so I have ran down, collected our targets. Now let's take a look at what we ended up with. So to kind of give us some perspective, here is what we had originally. So this was from the first original review video of the rifle. First group was with Federal Power Shock Blue Box 150 grain soft point. And you see four shots here on paper. One, I believe, was off target, but we only had four to measure, and that came in at 2.108, so a little over two inch. Next, we did shoot some 168 grain Match King in that original video. These four shots here, 1.704 inches with that one big flyer down there that I'm sure was my fault. Uh, next was the Winchester Super X, completely unacceptable group. I will totally agree with you guys on that. That was really, really bad. I mean, that's basically my hand print. So that's that's not gonna cut it. Next and finally was some 150 grain hollow point hand loads that I had. Not really sure on the load data on this. This was just some stuff that I had left over from another project, but uh, we had a couple of shots here, one, two there, and I don't know where the fifth one landed, but um, you can see one, two, three, about a four inch group. So again, totally unacceptable. So like I mentioned earlier in this video, some of you guys had mentioned the fact that it may be liking heavier grain ammunition to kind of get those groups down. So I was like, you know what, let's try it out and see. So we started out with some 100 grain, 180 grain Blue Box Federal Power Shock, jacketed soft point, and we ended up with fairly nice little group there. I will take that all day long out of Federal Blue Box. That was 2.037 inches, 110 yards. Next, we had Federal Gold Medal Match, 168 grain, and upon closer review, I believe that second shot was right there in that same hole. So that is definitely two shots right there. We'll definitely have to confirm on the shot cam. But with that said, that's a 1.497 inch group. So less than a half inch and a half at 110 yards. That's amazing. And then lastly, we shot the 178 grain Sierra Match King. This right here was a huge yank on my part. That was totally my fault. But... Um, Measuring these four shots here came in at 1681. So I'm giving myself a mulligan on that. You're just going to have to uh, bear with me on that. It's my channel. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that. But um, nonetheless, I think there might be a little bit of validity with the heavier grade ammunition shooting better. 
Now, guys, I have shot a ton of rifles over the years, and the one thing that I have come to the conclusion with with basically all of them is that all of them are different. Now, with that said, could you go out and get one of these and pop some ammunition in it and it shoots sub MOE groups out of the box? Yeah, it's possible. It's definitely possible. But um, this one here, for my purposes, now granted, I know a lot of you guys got wrapped around the axle, which I don't understand why. It's not your gun. This I'm just presenting my data as I seen it and as I shot it. But two to two and a half inch out of this 308 carbine is enough for me. That's all I need. I've had no problem making hits out to 300 yards here with regularity. And I, that really fits the bill of a sub seven pound, now granted minus the scope, 308 battle rifle. And that's what I wanted. I've had other AR-10s. They've shot great, yada, 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 but they've also been 12 to 13 pounds. I'm not going to sling that up and go toting it around the woods anytime soon. This here, maybe not with this scope, but I had this on for group testing. But you realistically could do that. I mean, it is definitely within the realm of possibility as a hunting rifle if you wanted to use it in that philosophy, which that's what this rifle is marketed as. It's not marketed as a precision gun. I, I, granted, if, if that's what you're looking for, this probably isn't the gun for you. It really isn't. You know, get get something else. Get 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 a POF. You know, a POF is what about two times the price of this rifle here. This one comes in minus the optic at less than a grand. So to me, that is very lucrative in the overall philosophy of this rifle. A sub seven pound um, battle rifle, because that's to me that's what this is, or possibly a hunting rig. With, I mean, results like that, you could take a box of this. You could go deer hunting all day long with that, and this thing would not kill your back. But um, you know, I mean, could this be something where the rifle has just broken in? Uh, maybe, maybe it's shooting a little better. I have not put any more 150 grain stuff on paper for group testing. Maybe that's something we do again in the future. If you guys want to see that, definitely let me know down in the comments. But could the barrel just be breaking in a little bit better? This is a 5R rifled barrel. So, I mean, it's good barrel steel. It's good rifling. It, it has the ability to shoot. But it's got to be in the realm of, of realisticness here. This is not a bench gun. It, it never will be. It, it No matter what you do to it, out of the box or which one you get. It's not what this gun is intended to be for. It's a lighter weight AR-10 style platform rifle that you can actually tote around. It's sub seven pound. It's not touted as a precision gun. So, you know, flame me in the comments if you want, but I like this thing. I am not getting rid of it. It has been 100% flawless for me. Now, granted, I will say still to date, I have not messed with the gas system. I have not put a can on it or anything like that. I will say, if you guys have any recommendations for different muzzle devices that might slow down that concussion a little bit, uh, I'm definitely all ears for that. Uh, that's really the only downside to this rifle that I have so far. If you shoot it a bunch, you're definitely going to have a headache. That that muzzle brake is legit. It will. Uh, you definitely know you shot it. <laughs> that's a fact. But nonetheless, I'm stoked with this. Again, this this video and all my videos are my opinion, and they are worth what you guys paid for them, which is nothing. So, but I can tell you from my data, I am presenting it as it comes to me. We are in this rifle at almost 260 flawless rounds, and I, for one, think that that is more than acceptable accuracy, especially for my use. But um, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this. Or if there's anything else on this rifle you'd like to see on the channel, let me know. Be glad to uh, get some more content put up. And as always, shoot straight. Later.